yo yo we are back we are back on youtube i know we haven't been so consistent with the uploading but i'm gonna be explaining that why i'm actually going to be showing you a banger of a youtube video in this one so you're gonna want to make sure to stay till the end i promise you if you guys are able to grab a hold of this concept it will transform your trading bro what is up with my hair i hope you guys enjoy stay tuned and just listen to it i'm gonna try to make it 10 minutes or less so we i can you know retain everybody's attention i don't want it to be like a fucking classroom um i use this to actually take this trade and i'm gonna be showing you guys you know the the meta trader profit screen um and this is something that i teach to my students and it is it's changing strategies right so um no no it's not changing strategies it's aiding strategies so stay to the end and i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys later deuces <clears throat> so what am i talking about right what am i talking about when i'm saying you're gonna want to add this right um for most of you guys have known from the interview or from many of my youtube videos you can see that i, I trade market structure right i trade market structure i trade areas of support and resistances um and i trade with the trend i use technicals with such as fibonacci and moving averages and trend lines and stuff like that but there is something that I have added six months ago into my trading that has made my trading elevate to the next level my win loss rate um has jumped up more much much higher right and not only that this is actually helping me um stay out of trades yes yeah, stay out of trades and picking and you know even being more precise with my entries so what am i talking about right and this is this might be the missing piece in your trading and i literally mean that it's not no clickbait or nothing but i literally mean that this might be the missing piece in your trading so what am i talking about here what i'm talking about here is something called liquidity right we've heard of it we use it sometimes but we may not use it in the correct way right liquidity liquidity is so important in the market and we got to understand something right without it without it the market doesn't move without this the market does not move right now this is something that you know i learned a little bit ago right and i've been implementing it for a little bit um and it's something that is extremely important right because you know you really need to understand what i'm saying here right without a li without liquidity the market won't move right the market doesn't make this you know the market doesn't make this big drop right here for no reason right just because oh there's a level up here and market crashes right we're dealing with real life currency so we're gonna have to you know put some logic behind these things now into our trading right to make sure we elevate right so uh, you know for example you know for example like a big move like this right a big move like this that went up for 300 pips right you can see that we grabbed liquidity from an area all the way over here right and you're going to we're going to be explaining this right we might do a part two to this but to keep it simple liquidity the market does not move without it right so this is something that i want you guys to ask right this isn't going to be you know marking up your 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 chart in a different way this isn't going to be you know adding you know adding indicators and stuff like that no none of that this is simply going to be something an ideology that you're going to add to your you know your trading right now what do i mean by that right what do i mean i'm going to show you right i want you guys to go ahead and analyze the market as if you know you would you know normally right as if you would have normally right you know mark off your areas of support and resistances right um top down analysis you know mark off your you know your levels this is what i'm this is what i'm doing right um i'm gonna mark off these this level of support and resistance right here because we can see price came up rejected came up again rejected and kind of we're in this ranging market um, i'm also going to place an area of support and resistance let's go to the daily time frame let's go to the daily time frame the daily time frame made the move from all the way down here right so what do we have right what do we have so we have the market pushing bullishly right we have the market pushing bullishly right higher highs and higher lows being made uh, created right and now we have a huge high up over here right the previous support is right here and now our new support is all the way up here so when we look at the four hour what do we have right we have a ranging market up here right and we have this daily level down here right we also have highs up here and we want to make sure we know that right highs highs right highs 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 14 okay so you know just like i said go about your trading go about your analysis your marks up the same way right but there's something i want you to ask yourself once you've gotten to this point right this is something new and this is something simple and i want you to ask yourself where is the draw on liquidity 
right? This is simple yet so key that helped me transform my trading because when you really understand, and this might this is my for some of you who, who who are students and some of you who are just you watch my YouTube videos always reach out to me on Instagram. Some of you guys are ICT traders, and this is a concept of ICT, right? Not even it's not even a concept of ICT. ICT definitely teaches this, but you know the draw on liquidity is is a overall market you know idea implemented on many people's trading strategies, right? But this is where I started to ask myself, where is the draw on liquidity? Meaning where is the market most likely going to head to, to grab liquidity? And when you understand that, right, then you really add something to your bias you didn't have before. And that's, you know, and that's, you know, being able to find the draw on liquidity. So, you know, have you guys ever had a trade? Let's see. Let's say price, you know, is ranging. Let's say price is ranging. Have you ever had a trade break under and you think we broke on any time frame and you think we've broken structure? Right? And what do you expect? A downtrend. Have, but has price ever, you know, done this? Has price ever done this? Where you completely, completely get faked out. You have so many um, traders selling here, sell limits, sell stops, and more in you know breakout entries to the downside. Right? We've seen this before, right? Especially when the market's coming up and it does that, right? Now it could be said for vice versa, right? Imagine if we have a range, right? Now imagine if we have a range right and the market's coming from the downside right you all you, you'll get this scenario sometimes right where you get this range and a lot of traders a lot of traders are going to be entering buys above here right buy stops sell stops and market executions to go along right here not knowing that they're actually probably going to get faked out right and then they're going to get all stopped out and then everybody who noticed that is going to be able to take advantage on the shorts here same with here right fake out you want to be able to identify the fake out and go long right now has this ever happened to you and if you if you look at yourself and you're asking yourself yes 100 percent, what the fuck is that and that's the draw on liquidity right that's because above these levels and under these levels there's liquidity where the market wants price to push there to take all those traders out right to take all those traders out and then continue the move right so you can see right here you know this is where i'm going to show you the draw on liquidity in this scenario was above the range right above this range was a draw on liquidity and there's multiple ways to find that and price did what price grabbed the liquidity it drew liquidity and guess what continued to move down in this scenario price came down got the buy, uh, buy side liquidity and then shot up in this moment the drawn liquidity was down here the market movers knew that came down here pushed the market downwards and exploded to the upside right so i'm going to show you a perfect example of that right now let's look at this chart right here right i've identified a bullish bias right and i also have a range right now the one thing i now want to ask myself is where is the draw on liquidity right and there's two draws of liquidity the market has the market where it's at right now right is pushing downwards after creating one high and creating two highs right creating equal highs right when price creates equal highs there's a definite you know there's a high probable chance of price re reaching a price reaching of these highs again right but before it reaches those highs right you know and we're in a bias you know we're in a bias trend right so i'm only looking to buy i'm going to probably look for a draw on liquidity to the de somewhere under this level right to keep the market pushing forward in this case the draw on liquidity is going to be under this general area right now why the reason why it's because this is where price has created a low and is respected again and pushed up, right? So, yes, that makes it a support and resistance, right? That makes it a support and resistance. And that's why we're going to make this zone a little bit more, a little bit more identifiable, right? So, yes, that's why we have a support and resistance, right? And now you're saying, what's the difference between this, the liquidity and the, um, what's the difference between the liquidity and what you're showing us? What I'm showing you is, you know, not just a simple level of support and resistance, right? What I'm showing you is just not a simple level of support and resistance. This is actually going to be the draw on liquidity. And the reason being is because first, when you have a range, you're going to have market, you know, we're going to have traders, you know, selling under here, whether it be no, whatever type of uh, market order, right? Sell stops, buy stops, set market executions, right? But 
Um, a key thing here is, you know, when you're trading on a Monday, you want to look back to see market lows, right? And this is a Thursday market low, and you come over here to the previous day, previous day lows. It's right here, right? So I want to sh tell you guys something. This is going to be a secret. That's why I told you to stay till the end. Previous daily highs and lows are major areas of liquidity. So that's the difference between a regular support and resistance is that these are also daily lows, right? You know, this is the low from the previous trading day on Friday, right? Heading into Friday. You can see that this is the previous trading day from two days ago, which is a Thursday. So this is, so right here, now on top of a support and resistance, we have lows of two previous trading days, meaning that these are lows that are being respected. And a lot of traders have what? They have pending orders looking just like this, right? So me being able to catch this, right? And what I'm trying to teach you guys is being able to catch this right here. What I'm going to wait for is I'm going to wait for the market to come up before I take this trade all the way back up into here, right? Given the same effect, just like this, right? This is what I'm going to be looking for. The same thing I showed right here, okay? So let's see what happens, but we're going to be dropping it down to the one hour, right? We're going to keep that position because that position is going to be the retail traders that are going to get caught and that don't understand this. Remember, guys, do not be the liquidity. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. And boom, price starts to break under. Now I'm getting what I want. Now, a lot of traders have done what in this instance? A lot of traders have sold, sell limits, sell stops, market executions, and even more now so that we're respecting and rejecting, right? So price, traders are looking at this like a break and come up and for a retest. You know what I'm looking at this? I'm looking at this as fucking food, bro. Food, and I'm about to eat, man. Price is going to pull back a little bit and I'm just waiting for that first higher low and that's basic market structure. Once the higher low is made and I see price pushing forward, guess what? Once we break back above the zone, I'm gonna take it to the next area of support and resistance. Um, and I'm going to set my stops under that level. Let's go for a three R and let's see how this plays out. And it plays out plays out beautifully guys beautifully do you see that simple very very simple and it's something that has transformed my trading in months past in years past guess what i was a part of the liquidity <coughs> i was the dummy getting faked out down here and asking bro why did that happen to me when in reality this was the trade and this is what we should have been looking for right this is the draw in liquidity this is the draw on liquidity, right? Every time you come into the market, you want to ask yourself that. What is the draw on liquidity and what happened there and why? And why did that fake out happen, right? I want, I want, I want to teach you guys something, right? I want to teach you guys something. And that's holding yourself accountable. The market doesn't fake you out because it hates you. The market's faking you out because that's what it intended to do. The market knows where to go. The market knows where to move. And this is a perfect example of that, right? So the couple of things I want to teach you, you know, by, by the time this video ends is the, where is the draw on liquidity? Where are the areas of liquidity where I think the market's going to push up? And hopefully that can help you in your bias, right? So this, this is a nice chart breakdown, market breakdown, trade breakdown that I took and a great lesson on liquidity. And, you know, I want to tell you guys that that remember previous daily highs and lows are going to carry a bunch of liquidity now it's up to you to put that together with your confluences and your bias again if you guys always want more i always host one-on-ones -on -one. reach out to me but until then i'm going to see you guys in a later youtube video this week and i'll see you guys later deuces